In this video, I'm going to explain how to do neural manipulation for axillary nerve. This is axillary nerve. It runs horizontally. This is humerus. This is longitudinal structure, correct? Axillary nerve runs horizontally. This orientation is very, very rare in human body. Usually, many nerves run along bones, like longitudinal way. That's why this is very, very unique shape. Okay. How to do neural manipulation is very simple. However, how to find axillary nerve is a little bit tricky. That's why let me explain how to find this nerve first. Okay. You see colorful tapes. These tapes represent muscles. Yellow one is teres minor. Blue one is teres major. Red one is long head of triceps brachii. And one more structure you need to focus on humerus. From these four structures, there is canal here. This is quadrilateral space. Axillary nerve penetrates quadrilateral space. So this is very key place in shoulder. Okay. This is how to find axillary nerve. I start from triceps brachii. So there is gap between long head and short head. There's gap. I find gap. I find gap. I don't feel the thick muscles here. I find gap, gap, gap. Now, you see this triangular structure? You can palpate radial nerve here. Now you can reach to teres major, blue structure. You go up from teres major, now you can palpate axillary nerve. I repeat again. I find gap between long head of triceps and short head. I find gap, follow the gap, follow the gap. Now I can palpate radial nerve here. Go over, go over teres major. Now you can find axillary nerve. But you can't feel very obvious sensation here because there's deltoid covering here. It's very, very thick muscle. You need practice to be able to feel axillary nerve. Okay, keep practice. Now, how to do neural manipulation? Here is the thing. Now you find axillary nerve here. You follow the triceps, triceps, triceps. Now you found it. I usually work around here. Let's imagine this person is lying on supine position. Okay, this is shoulder, arm. I'm putting my hand beneath shoulder. Imagine that. Now I can comfortably find axillary nerve right here. Now I put a little bit stimulus this way, the distal way of nerve. This is distal way. This is proximal. I put a little bit traction and a little bit off. Then nervous tissue starts to move. I follow movement until it finishes. Okay, I repeat again. I find axillary nerve. I put traction this way, tiny bit. If I exaggerate, this way, but not this much. Find axillary nerve, put stimulus, let it off. Now it starts to move. You follow the movement until it's down. Okay. Axillary nerve is very important because it innervates teres minor and deltoid. These two are very important for shoulder muscle. Also, axillary nerve innervates shoulder joint. So what happens if quadrilateral space gets diminished, maybe from short muscles, or you got fracture on neck of humerus, or you got dislocation? That kind of injury can diminish space in quadrilateral space or fracture can damage axillary nerve. Now axillary nerve can't function well. It makes pain around here or dysfunction around here. 
Again, this nerve is very, very important for posterior part of shoulder. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.